Oblivion is full of memorable NPCs, so I decided to create a ranking of the top 100 most iconic ones. But I can't possibly do this task alone. That's why I asked the lovely Angelica Tosh to help me out. Or fight me on certain topics. This is the world against me. I can see people being on my side about this, come on. You know, this is good, this is good. This, this will divide the audience. Sorry, I'm not gonna be moved on that. That's a hill that I am willing to die on. Welcome to the channel where we throw stuff at the algorithm and see what sticks. So what do you think about uh, tier lists? I think the tier lists can be pretty fun. I enjoy watching them. I've never done one myself though. S, A, B, C, D, and trash. Okay, cool. There's a bit of a twist I added. There can only be 10 in the S tier. So we just have to- uh, Kick someone out? Or we have to put this NPC into some other tier. Okay. Okay, so the first NPC is Banelin. Is that from that Dark Brotherhood quest? Oh yeah. Where you have, okay. Um, a Minotaur head falls on him. I love the quest and I love the way that you staged the death. He has a person though. I mean, what? was the conspiracy? You probably know more about this than I do. The theory is that it's the grandson that ordered the hit. He wanted the property and so that's why he wanted it staged as like an accident so that they don't suspect the Dark Brotherhood. Oh wow. Well, yeah. Banelin is still a piece of shit. I mean you barge into his house which I get why he's unfriendly but... Yeah, I don't think I would be too friendly with somebody that would barge into my house like that either to be honest. I wouldn't put him in trash because it's really fun when he dies. I'd put him in C. Okay, he's there. The next one is Shady Sam. I saw a post on Shady Sam on Reddit the other day that somebody discovered him for like the first time. I started playing Oblivion about 2006. This guy was known to me like four years later. That's a bit of dead school dude lore actually. <laughs> I've never never yeah. tried to walk around the Imperial City. And also his like uniqueness, right? He's not that unique when, he, when you install DLCs because there's one more NPC that has the exact same dialogues. Rowley, Rowley, Erduff, Erf, I'll put it in the video. <laughs> you need something special check out my wares you won't find this stuff at your local general store that's for damn sure yeah but he sells some some fun stuff like skooma that's the most fun thing in oblivion honestly so like the silver lining is that he sells skooma that's why he's a tier yeah it's just the skooma all right i'll be willing to be flexible on that for now adamas philida oh this this is actually a really tragic one because um i think that after you've done this quest another guard actually like because he was his bodyguard and he failed. That's really, really sad. So like- But it's really fun though. You can shoot him while he's swimming. Feels so scummy. Well, that's the Dark Brotherhood. They're murderers. It's yeah, all, it know, is I scummy. Know, I know. I'd put him I'd in say B. That's, yeah, I was gonna say that's probably a B tier. Just like everything around him is so memorable because of the story and the other guard that like unfortunately went as well. I can see the next one. Oh God. <laughs> He can be really annoying and useless when he's a follower because he runs away all the time. Cute fan guy, fanboy. You find him cute? No. <laughs> Okay, so I actually literally just talked about this in my recent video. So we were discussing like Elder Scrolls hot takes and somebody brought up they don't find the adoring fan that annoying because they actually think he's kind of like a child. Like he seems like... I like, think he is because you even you can even tell him go away kid or something like that, right? Does that necessarily mean that he's a child? Because Bosmer in general, they're, they're all pretty small. Y uh, you mean they're short kings? Sorry, they're sh short kings. <laughs> I have to support my boys. Well, we can't be infantilizing the short kings either. Yeah, that is true. That is very true. He's one of the most easily recognizable NPCs in the entire game. I feel it's like a sort of a situation where if you were looking at like maybe characters from Game of Thrones, I think that a lot of people may rank somebody like Joffrey really high just because people love to hate him. I've never but seen like, Game of Thrones. Okay, well... What? I'm trying to think of something else that has like a terrible character that you would love to hate. Yeah, I, I get it. I know I know who Joffrey is. But like without him, like you lose so much of the flavor. I feel like that's an S tier. This is so controversial. I feel like this is going to be controversial. Me putting him in my videos uh, gave me a lot of views. So he's for sure S tier. <laughs> People can say in the comments what they think. If they agree, disagree. Agramir. Is this the guy that supplies for the copious coin purse? Yep. He's the one that digs up graves, takes stuff, and then sells them. Excellent business model. We <laughs> loot really dead people's stuff all the time. That's, th that's one side of it. Do we really need that many general goods stores? You don't like it, go to a different city. <laughs> I mean, if you want people to go to your store, sell better products. <laughs> That's true. I really like Nords as a race, mm -hmm. but a lot of the Nords in Oblivion just like really rub me the wrong way. They're just really mean. I think it's trash. I think yeah. it's our first trash. You know what? I don't want to... Because the quest that he's in is also pretty iconic. Okay. I feel like for trash, you'd want to be like more irrelevant. Agronak. The Grey Prince. I like him. I feel really bad for him. Whenever I play, I just don't want to do the quest where he knows about his 
family heritage. Where he finds out. I like him a lot as well because of his really unique look, like his color, like the color of his um, skin. He's not like a typical very green orc. He's really friendly from the very beginning. One of like the nicest NPCs you come across. Flying, flying in the sky. The, the, the guy that sings flying in the sky the, and he's the... drunk all the time. He's really fun. I really like him, but he's really iconic, especially for him singing. On the one side, you've got the guy that doesn't know you and doesn't care to know you. And then you've got this guy singing. He's got a nice singing voice. That's that's S tier, probably. Yeah, it's S tier. Am I, am I going to regret this? Like, are we, yes. <laughs> we going to start like, moving? But we, we didn't put anyone in trash. And honestly, there's no limit for trash. That's interesting. All right. Well, we might end up tweaking it a little bit. I don't see the adoring fan going anywhere, but maybe this guy might. Aleron Loch. Aleron Loch. <laughs> Aleron Loach. This is the guy that goes missing in Breville. I don't remember him. So there's this orc that kidnaps this guy. He doesn't kidnap him. Takes him to this fort where, where he has to fight for his life. And then the orc kills him. I vaguely, vaguely remember this. I might have done this quest like once. Yeah. I don't want to say trash because that doesn't <laughs> mean the guy got kidnapped. Is he like really mean? No, but he's weak. <laughs> no, that's so mean. Like, I feel kind of bad looking at him in his fishing overalls and you're like, he's weak week <laughs> beta male <laughs> <laughs> He had like a gambling problem, he had debts. Gambling is pretty based. This was a joke. I don't support any harmful addiction or self-destructive behavior. If you have a problem, seek help from a licensed professional. He's not trash, I was just... I jest, you know, I jest a lot. Like him as an NPC, none of his dialogues, I don't remember... I don't remember anything. I'll, I'll have to trust you on that one. I'll put him in D. Just like, I don't really hang out in Breville. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like no one boy. does. Is... Is this Alicia Otis? Yeah, it is. I recognize her for a very specific reason. Okay, like in every city, you will find Guide to Anvil, Guide to Breville. But when I started actually like opening and reading those books, I realized that um, they're not really a guide. They're just like brutal roasts of each of the cities and its inhabitants. She's super racist. She hates the beast races. <laughs> she does a lot of this like religious finger pointing where she judges people for like not attending the temples. Yeah, if you don't go to churches, you'll be judged. I thought they were so so brutal and so i thought okay i gotta meet this person because she lives in the imperial city she doesn't say anything she doesn't act like she's very uninteresting in that manner you know more about this than i do so i'm gonna let you rank her there's a lot of substance there but when you meet her like you'd never know it by meeting her you have to read the books to find out for me she's a b tier b tier like, even though she's racist this is a really great reminder of like don't judge a book by its cover. You should instead judge her books. Yeah, you should literally just judge her books, not not. I'll, I'll put her in B tier. We're gonna get backlash from this. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm sure that a lot of people actually don't read the guides to the cities either. We'll leave her in B tier. I have no time for your pathetic attempts at small talk. Now walk away before I get nasty. Oh yeah, it's just, it's just kind of annoying, isn't he? Yep. It's said that he's a powerful wizard. He's allergic to mead. He dies pretty quickly, honestly. The funny thing is, you can just walk with him. He can die while on travels. Oh, some wolf can just come get him. Well, yeah. there's Oblivion Gates <laughs> opening. Yeah, I think this is our first trash, actually. Yeah, probably trash. For now. For now. Uh, okay. Next is Ankatar. Is this the guy that made everybody invisible? Yep. There's a really funny way to fail that quest. Well, I'm gonna be a super I'm asshole. Done. Whoop! You can use the scroll while you're with him. He just uh, gets angry because he's visible now. He's really pissed. Look what you've done! He's he really pissed. He gets really pissed. mad at that. And I, I, I kind of like that, actually, because it's like, you idiot. Like, you've been given two chances. How could you possibly have, like, messed it up this badly? It's about having fun. And when he's angry, it's really, really fun. As I said, I've started playing this game uh, in 2006. This was the first quest I ever did in Oblivion. And I, and I didn't f*** it up back then, but now it'll wear off in like a year so they're fine you know what it's maybe it's not such a bad deal to be invisible for a while like you've got the oblivion crisis going on i didn't think of that actually yeah that's a good point you're you're helping them by not making them visible you know? yeah everyone should be invisible actually <laughs> it's gonna be really controversial yep and it was only like years later that i found the invisible village with all the invisible people so it's, it's hard to find them because they're invisible yeah ah, i'd put him in b just as the yeah. as the racist lady <laughs> i i have a feeling you're gonna make me regret that like so much no 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 no, no. Next is Armand Christophe. Iconic. He's really unfriendly. He's like... Yeah, but he's kind of based as well. I like it when he goes into hiding. Have you seen Armand, Armand Christophe? And then you frame that other woman. Yeah, I put him in A. Yeah. Arnora. Ooh. I love the Arnora quest solely for the amulets. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the blue one. The prettiest piece of jewelry in the game. Which one's the true one? Hold on. 
Yeah, so the true amulet is red. That's what I'm seeing on um, Elder Scrolls Wiki. Wait, let me just check another source real quick. I was gonna ask source. Yeah, source, hold on a minute. The blue one is the false one. Cause that makes sense, right? Cause when you meet her, she's wearing the blue one. She's a bit of a badass. Do you think she's toxic? I mean, kinda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably put her E. The Night Mother must be awakened. Ooh, the, the High Elf from the Dark Brotherhood. Oh yeah. I don't know, man. She's iconic in a way that she's at the end of the Dark Brotherhood. If you ask somebody about like the most iconic NPCs from the Dark Brotherhood questline, would this person actually come to mind? One of her fatal flaws is that she comes in only at the end of the questline. Which... I'd put her in D, honestly. You can't imagine the fuss some people make. My rats are no problem for anyone. Irvina Thelas, the rat lady from Annabelle. I'd put her pretty low, to be honest. Really? She's, she's one of the first quest for the fighters guild and she has rats I, in her basement uh, the fighters guild quest line isn't my favorite so what? maybe that's why i'm like You'd, you'd expect her to be pissed that she has rats in her basement, but she's angry that she has lions that eat her rats. I'd put her in B. You'd probably put her D or C. So this is a team tier list, so we have to <laughs> we have to compromise on this. Compromise, yeah. Okay, next is Boris. He doesn't turn against you when he comes into the room and the emperor is like spread out on the floor. <laughs> for all they know, you're a prisoner. You've been in prison for a reason. You were left alone with the emperor. Oh yeah, there was, there was a guy right here and he just like disappeared. I never really thought about that. What? Uh, Windows error. Ha, 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 ha. But it's also the fact that you immediately loot the amulet. To go back to Agramir, the guy that loots dead bodies, you as a player have been doing that for the whole time and selling that stuff anyways. Are we really worse than Agramir? Or are we better than Agramir? If you're like clearing out bandit camps and you're this hero. No, that's but not what I've been doing. But if you go into a city... Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next is Dorian. He's a very unique NPC because when you paralyze him and take his money... The gold exploit! That's who he's... That's, that's what he him. is. That's what it is. That's right. I do remember that. <laughs> Anytime you get a paralysis spell or a scroll, you can just have uh -huh. infinite money with this guy. I'd honestly put him in B tier. One of the most famous exploits in the game. But the guy? I don't like the guy so much. He's really unfriendly. Next is Bird. I remember him being really mean. I don't know why. It's it's just like the general vibe that I get from most Nords in the game. <laughs> oh yeah, like... you said that, yeah. There's one memorable moment. If, if there's a gate in front of Bruma and you go to close it with him, he's like, let's go, man, let's go into the gate. And then you close it through the console and then he has to reset and go back to the guards and tell them that we've closed the gate. You did it, Captain. You closed the Oblivion Gate. We didn't think we'd ever see you alive again. Believe me, it was no picnic. And it's like a goofy moment. Yeah. Didn't really go into the gate and you just close it via console. That's it? Yeah. That's D tier talked for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this was D, but I think I have an S tier. I feel like that's like overly cliche to put the emperor in S tier. But like, where else would you put him? Probably the grave because he dies. <sighs> Oh my God. <laughs> He's got like some of the most iconic dialogue, you know, and it's Patrick Stewart, like literal Patrick Stewart. It's S tier. Hey, hey, how, what are, uh, what are you doing here? Is that the guy in the Imperial City that does the drugs and you promise that you're going to bring him drugs? Yeah, it's such a messed up story. Wow. I'm not sharing my skooma with anyone. He should know better. <laughs> well, uh, I put him B because he's really funny e when he talks. Yeah. Okay, the next one is very iconic. It's the friendly alchemist from Skingrad. Falanu Hlalu. She was just doing some research about the new province that she's moved into. Uh -huh. Do you happen to know what the fine is here in Cyrodiil for necrophilia? Just asking. Asking about, you know, local laws and fines and such things. I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong either. It's not like she said something out of pocket or anything. It's just know? a question, dude. Chill. And she's a, she's a really good alchemist. I mean, I think it's S tier. It's such an unexpected thing when you speak to her. And what's even more unexpected is that your character knows what the fine is. There was a theory going around that the reason why you're in jail is because you know how much the fine is, if that makes sense. I like to not think about that if I'm like starting a new character. Are your characters yeah. usually good or bad? They start off really good. And then it, then it goes <laughs> way downhill. Okay, she's ass. Your, your journey, journey ends, ends here, traveler. Here, traveler. She also uh, from the Mage's Guild quest line, and she ambushes yeah. you. It's just this thing, this one thing, which is uh, I think it's D. Oh my god, Maybe. I had a, I had a voice crack. Oh my god. We can end the video now. If you... Do not edit that out. <laughs> that better be in the video when I watch it. 
What was this guy's deal again? There's a few orcs in Chaden Hall that are like really- This guy is the one from the Fighters Guild that gives you quests. And right. he's really unfriendly and he calls you meat. He has like a warm heart, but he's tough. You kind of have to work to like get friendlier with him. I don't know if this is the same for you, but as somebody from Eastern Europe, <laughs> there's definitely a lot more of that for me where it's like- We're yeah, both from Eastern you Europe. You don't immediately trust people sort of thing. You might be neutral, but you wouldn't call them meat. I wouldn't call anyone meat. <laughs> no. Anyone ever, unless they wanted me to, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think this guy is like a C. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he's mid. Mid, wow. That's the first time that this was dropped in this tier list video. Next one is Claude, Claude Merrick. Claude... Uh, something something Merrick, the Breton that works for Umbacano. The Breton that works for Umbacano. Yeah, he betrays you. So he ambushes you once you collect a uh, carving. Oh, because you did all the hard work? He demands that you give him the carving. And if you do, you've worked for nothing. And if you don't, you have to kill all of them. Uh, he's kind of a dick. He's a bit of a bully. Yeah, I think he's D tier. <laughs> <laughs> he's a D tier bully. <laughs> He's a wizard from Brazil, and you have to steal a part of an arrow. Is that to then be able to do the heist? Yep. But I don't really remember him that well. I remember his name though. Him as an NPC? I don't know. So he's mid. Okay, ne next one is another orc from Chading Hall. And this guy is the buzz, one that says- Buzz, Buzz, Buzz. Yep. <laughs> I love him. I, 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 I don't want to put him low. I want to put him really high. But Honestly, he's, I, I, he looks like Shrek. They all do. I love him. I think he's an A tier. A tier? I, I, What's I, happening? <laughs> I refuse to listen to criticism on this. I love it. I love him. I'll survive. I'll survive. Uh, <laughs> I know you really didn't want to do that, but I'm so happy that he is a tier. Before we made this video, I was like, oh, this is going to be trash for sure. You know, this is good. This is good. This, this will divide the audience. I can see people being on my side about this. Come on. You can't not like this guy. And if everybody just likes him, well, then everybody's just wrong. Next is Elsie Godhater. That's like a pretty significant thing because every other NPC that you talk to, you know, the nine bless you or whatever they say, like when you walk away. St. Alessia has blessed our city and all its people. Yes, I hate the gods, all gods. She, she's one of those people that like saw the point that Mankar Cameron was trying to make. Yeah, well, he's kind of a lunatic. But, like collaborating with... Mayrun's Dagon? Yeah, that was an L. I'm still pretty angry that they didn't make a quest line for the Mythic Dawn. To like join them. Oh yeah. I'd love for that to be a choice. Even if the outcome has to be the same at the end. I still want to do quests for the Mythic Dawn. A. She's interesting, but unless you remind me of her, I wouldn't think about her. You know what I mean? Compromises. I'm going to put her in B then. I feel like I'm dictating a lot of this tier list, like unintentionally. I was, I was thinking, I was thinking between A and B. Well, we put the Buzz Buzz Orc at A, so I think that it's, it's... Sorry, I'm not gonna be moved on that. That's a hill that I am willing to die on. If I'm talking about Oblivion, I always find a way to somehow like insert a clip of him that I have. Hey, look, everybody. I'm talking to a fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Grom. I, I don't know. He's a, he's memorable. And then he's sad that he Balin is. dies, but I don't think he's that interesting. He's mid. Probably put him on the same tier as his master, but... <laughs> Are you prepared to do what is necessary to gain a recommendation from me? Yes. Hmm. Next is Falkar. He's the one that's a necromancer and betrays you and makes you swim in that well with the ring of burden. What an asshole. The way he tried to kill you is really creative though. It is creative. That's why I wouldn't put him in trash. Maybe, maybe C tier. <laughs> Well, why why do you think he's D tier instead of C tier? I think he's D tier because he's a mean guy. The quest is funny, I guess, but he's not that interesting. But. I would argue, C tier. Who thinks of that? Like that's such an evil genius way to kill someone. And Going then he runs away. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> because he's weak. Beta. You see, putting him on D tier on the basis of just being mean, because then I put that, that orc at A tier. We're not gonna talk about the orc anyways anymore. I, I just, I refuse to acknowledge him at all. He's sitting pretty comfortably on that A tier, <laughs> to be honest. Falkar is D tier. I'll, I'll be willing to be flexible with that. Okay. At least he's not trash. I, well, I have a tip on someone who is trash, but you're not gonna like it. I suggest we use the Raymond sweep formation. Indaris, but it's the sun that gets stuck in the Oblivion Gate. He says huzzah a lot. He has a, like a whole band of his friends fighting. He's insufferable. Fight. You know what he is? He is a spoiled Nepo baby. I don't know. I think he's mid. Huzzah! And there's two outcomes to that, isn't there? Like you can save him or he dies. There's he three dies, outcomes. You can save him, he dies, or you kill him. Right. Batis Ulus, you made, made your choice, choice. now leave now me be. I, I totally forgot about the connection with the two brothers as well. I put him in B. That's, uh, that's a B, that, yeah, that's a B tier. No, it's it's not like my orc. Um, sorry. <laughs> Next NPC 
is um, is Faustina. I love the Siren's Quest. Depending on if you are a male or a female, you get like a different side of it. So if you're male, they try to trick you to rob you. And if you're female, they try to recruit you because they're like, oh, you're like pretty enough to do this. I wish they further explored that and you could actually join them. It'd be really funny if you could get robbed as a guy as well. You can't, you don't have an option to say, okay, I'll just take off my clothes. I, I, I she... put her in A tier. Janice Hasseldor, the vampire count. I don't know, the whole vibe and his throne room. Really badass. He's a strong wizard. He helps you in two quest lines, actually. I'd put him in S tier, honestly. Oh my god, another voice crack. That, that's not going to be edited out. Yeah, you said it, that's it. The next one is Dharma. Um... The reason I wouldn't put Dharma on the same level as the guy that got kidnapped is because she's really, really friendly. And she owns a horse. She's one of like the most positive NPCs in the game, I think. B. B, yeah. She's not on the level of Arnora or everyone else. <laughs> the next one is a wood elf, and his name is Fithragare. F F He's the one from that one meme where he gets yep. squished. That's he tells you to be careful. Take care. <laughs> it was such an unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah. That's either an A or a B for me. Personally. I think it's A. I think it's A. Next is Joffrey. I think he's the same as Boris, to be honest. That part of like the main quest line when you first come to him, you know, when you give him the Amulet of Kings and all that. And he's a monk, which is based as f I'd put him in A. You'll cut me with your poison knife and that idiot will think I'm dead. Is that the guy that has, he, he wants to fake his own death? Yep, and then... that's the one that hires you to fake kill him in front of a mercenary. Mortieri, I know you're in there. Probably for that and that it was like that idea and then you have to revive him. That's probably an A tier. And he gets really nervous as well, doesn't he? When you like show up. Oh yeah, yeah. Part of the <laughs> yeah, Dark yeah. Brotherhood. <gasps> oh, I can already see what's coming. I don't even know what to say about this. Glarthir would really thrive on the Shivering Isles. When I was a small kid playing this, I used to follow the people he sent me to follow if they really were following him. And uh, no, they didn't. He, he's just crazy. But then you're sent to kill the NPCs, which is fun. I mean, it's just bad. It's morally bad. The next one is a mage from Leowin. And he yeah. has the biggest eyebrows ever. He has the most punchable face in the entire game. He is the poor man's Martin Septim. He is trash. I do Funny you like should say this because there's going to be a tier list at the end of this video where we're gonna rank the most punchable faces anyways let's get back <laughs> to this guy so <laughs> he has the most i'm gonna call it now he's got the most punchable face in cyrodiil i do not like this guy at all he no. is to me i think trash. he's trash i think he's trash do you not like you him because he's a nord may maybe uh, like i like nords it's just that a lot of them are really mean but the thing with him is right it's actually kind of satisfying when he does betray you because it's one of those things like you know sometimes when you don't like a celebrity and then that celebrity gets canceled that you're like i knew it i knew this guy was oh yeah it's that. <laughs> Kellen. What? He's from the Knights of the Nine, and he's a guy that has a curse, and you use a spell to uncurse him. And he starts running and being happy all over the place. But he's fun. He's really fun. I put him here because he then starts running around, and he sits on a bed, which I think is really unique. Is he, like, the only one that does that? From my understanding, I think so, yeah. You probably see. He's mid. So Lazara Milvan would never speak with someone of your low birth. This conversation is tiresome. Leave me or draw your sword. I'd put him in trash. Belongs in the trash. I don't even feel bad. Next one is Hanantir, the guy that gets stuck in his own dream. Weak. Beta. beta. That's a pretty beta thing to do. How do you get stuck in your own dream? Just wake up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just... <laughs> Such like a D tier behavior. He's D tier. And it's funny because he has this unique animation of him sleeping, moving his hands all over the place like he's in a nightmare. Next one is Hieronymus Lex. The cool thing about Hieronymus Lex, right? The whole time he's like uh, hunting the thief skill. That's like his life's mission. Gray Fox actually gets him sent to Anvil because even though he's been like against his faction this whole time he wants him close to his wife do the same job but there I think that's that's kind of cool put him in A tier he also has a cool name Hieronymus Lex that's very cool like name a... and a very very cool set of armor is it necessary I see Bolor was unsuccessful in delaying you. Man and Marco. I was hoping for like a much more epic boss fight. There is a mod for this and he looks like yeah. an undead guy and it looks way cooler. And there's so much build up to Man and Marco, King of Worms, and there's so much about him in the lore, even like before Oblivion. It's the most underwhelming boss, boss fight. fight in Oblivion, probably. Oh yeah. I don't know, he's pretty mid. Chancellor Okado. He looks cool. He has a cool look to him. Like, um, I don't know, just everything about him just looks very, like, well put together. Like, he's a very recognizable NPC. Yeah, just because it's such an unexplored 
area, like the whole Elder Council and all that. I wouldn't put him any higher than B tier. Like, who's in the Elder Council? H him, and then, I don't know. Just some, <laughs> some random people you have to kind of imagine, right? I wish it was explored more. Run when you can! He's just, uh, how do you say it? Hmm, what's the word for a weak guy? Beta. He doesn't try to help, he just runs away. There's no sense of community. It really is about survival, and the rest of the people are fine, and he wouldn't do well in a fight anyways. I think he's... D. Yeah. Next is Mizoga de Or. I love her. She's gonna be very high up for me. Oh, fuck. I, I I can already tell you you have some sort of like a vendetta against orcs. I don't know what your problem is, but I love Mazoga the Orc. You know, the thing is, I know I'm gonna be against everyone. People seem to like her. I don't know why. Why don't you like her? She's like, what, mean, why do you dislike she's her? arrogant, she's just a b but she wants to be a knight. She wants to do something noble. She wants to like make a difference. So you know, you wouldn't expect like an orc female knight. I mean, you know what she did? She did fake it till you make it. <laughs> and she got what she wanted. You gotta, you gotta admire that. I put the buzz buzz guy in A. She's not going in A tier. I'm gonna fight over this. <laughs> right, okay, not A tier. Would you consider S tier? <laughs> <laughs> no, F no. I'm gonna fight everyone in the comment section over this. No. I can't, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> this is the world against me, and I'm gonna die on this hill. I'm willing to compromise on something below that, but that's a compromise. I'm willing to compromise and put her in B tier, but I'm not going any lower than B tier. She's not mid. What are you- Well, I wouldn't put her mid anyway, so- You were gonna put her in D tier, weren't you? Nope. No, I feel like for trash, it has to be someone like totally uninteresting and like- really insufferable. Listen, I'm happy that I didn't have to put her in S or A. I'm gonna put her in B. And, and it's really tight because in my mind, I know exactly where I'm putting her and you can't do nothing about that. <laughs> well, I know where I'm gonna put the buzz buzz guy in my mind, but that's- Yeah, but this is your channel and this is your tier list and this is where she's gonna be at forever. Well, fine, it's B, it's B, but I'm really, I'm really, uh, I'm not happy with this, but I'm happy she's not S or A. Okay, we did it, we did it, we survived. <laughs> Narusa, she's in way, way, Way. And she sends you to collect very unique wine. You can find it in forts. Maybe I should like mix it up a little in my next playthrough because some of these people I don't remember them at all. But yeah, I don't recognize her. I don't even remember her name or anything. I wouldn't put her high anyway, so I don't think she's that interesting. Well, you know, if she was an orc, maybe I would argue to put her higher, but she's not, so you can just. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put her higher. Next one is Jagasta. He has black hand robes in his uh, in his house, and you can get them mm -hmm. early. A bit of a Jackie Chan. Except for. This guy being a cat. I love Khajiit. For me, that's like an A tier, probably. I put him the same. Honestly, I put Jaskar, who is the next NPC, in A tier as well. And he has the quest with where he's invisible and he's pranking Jean for Sorik. He's funny. <laughs> oh, Chiva, if you've got net, like a bad disposition with anyone from the Dark Brotherhood, they're like extra mean as well. But if you've got good disposition, they're like extra nice. I feel like a lot of effort was put into their dialogue. And she gives you some she... of the best quests in the Dark Bird. Maybe the best quests. She gives you the whodunit quest. We have a lot in A. Too much it... NPCs in A. I wouldn't say that. No, I think that everybody that's there should sit right where they are. <laughs> Hail, knight! You seek my relics with a worthy heart. Pelinal White Streak. You know what's cool is that you get to interact with someone from like so, so long ago because he's a huge part of the lore. I think he's really, really cool. I think he's based because he killed elves. Oh, here we go. <laughs> We're getting to that part of the video. I don't have Damn. much against elves. There's a lot of elves that are cool, but I think it's really based when you go on a crusade. And the aliens were very cruel very bloodthirsty race. The fact that you get to interact with somebody from such a, like, uh, ancient history, you read about all these figures from the past, but, like, you never get to see them as NPCs. S tier. Hail, knight! Next is Lady Rogbutt. <laughs> <laughs> She's from the Fighters Guild. She gets kidnapped by ogres, and then you have to save her. Her dad is... Lord Rugdump. This shows how little I've done like the fighter skill quest line. I, I'm starting to remember now. But she's pretty tough. She fights the ogres. She's in one quest and you save her and that's it. But with a name like that, I mean, that's really... I think that's really iconic, don't you? Yeah. Her name has butt in it. <laughs> I'd put her B. Is that Lucien Lachance? It is. Dude, immediate S tier. What are you talking about? Yeah, one of the best characters in Oblivion. In Elder Scrolls. What happens to him? Man.
I mean, he is a murderer, you know, but he's S tier. I just want to say that we have seven in S tier. Three more. We're getting close to ten. That means somebody might have to get booted. I imagine I know why you're here, Gildrat. Next NPC is Maglier. He doesn't want to do quests because he feels like he doesn't get paid enough, <laughs> which is relatable, I mean. And then... He... Yeah, that's so relatable. And then he betrays you. He joins the Blackwood Company. I'm Blackwood Company now. Honestly, kind of based. <laughs> <laughs> he probably went to HR and they told him to, like, chill or he'll lose his job. I put him in B tier because... Because he does betray you. Yeah, but like his struggles are so real. Levitation is for fools. Maik the liar. Do I need to say it? He's very Maybe. unique and he's in every game. I think that's funny. Breaking the fourth wall in a game like Oblivion, which I think is like such a unique thing as well. Once you are up high, there is nowhere to go but down. You know what the worst thing about Mangar Cameron is? Other than the fact that he collaborated with Mayrun's Dagon. The Cameron dynasty, like their family, is from Valenwood. They are Bosmer. They are Wood Elves. Because the Wood Elves are so, like, funny looking, the developers just decided to make him a High Elf. Kind of an L, because there is an NPC, a Wood Elf NPC, in the Shivering Isles, and she's terrifying looking. You can't really be a leader of a cult if you're 5'5", five five, you know? What What was that about respecting short kings, though, you know? like I'm not much taller than that, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm pretty tall myself, so I have to... Wait, how, t how tall are you? 5'10". Oh, wait, that's how... M we're European, so we use the yeah. normal system? A hundred and, like, 77. I'm, like, 175. But I'm taller than a Wood Elf would be, and I guess that they just decided that Wood elves are not as imposing as high elves. He's an A tier. The next NPC is S tier for sure. Oh, he has to be. A sh literal Sean Bean. That's Sean Bean. One of my favorite NPCs in the game. And it's, it's so sad to see him go. Spoiler alert. But no, the game came out 15 years ago, so. Sean Bean always dies. How many is that in the S tier now? That's nine. We got space for one we more. We have space for one more or we have to switch him. Oh god. We're gonna put at least two more NPCs in S tier. I can already kind of picture probably who. Is that Ahead? Next one is Matthew Bellamont. I I hate him for what he did to my boy. I hate him. Is he trash? He, he's trash for what he did, yeah. He absolutely is trash for what he did. I don't even know what the criteria is that we're going off anymore. Like, is it like based on how much we hate an NPC or what? But like this guy? It's just our feelings. I have very negative feelings. <laughs> but you know, I mean, he's not that evil if he kills murders. Anyways. Oh, I have some beef with her. The first time I ever played Oblivion was on a PlayStation 3. I went, I got the blood grass, I got everything else, and I went back to her with all the stuff. And she's just acting like, I don't have it. You have to change your console language to German. And she only gave me the cure in German. The thing is, you can't use the console commands on the PS3, right? No. Yeah, so this is the German witch. I wouldn't say she's trash because she does help you, but this bug really puts her down. It, her basement is great for the thing where you have to steal a certain amount of stuff to progress the quest line and you can steal from her basement and she has a lot of valuable stuff i've got my orders for now the best artist in the game i'd switch him for someone in the s tier i think it's time really I, i'm not ready to do that yet i don't know i i would definitely put him a tier he makes the painting <laughs> you go undercover with him to do stuff that the guild doesn't approve of it's really fun tier. i put aldos a tier and then yeah. Modern S tier. And we have nine. We still have nine because... Um, because you know there's a space for one more in there. Yeah, there's for sure a space for one more that's S tier. I thought I made it clear I'm not looking for a friend. The Khajiit that doesn't like you and then he likes you, but then you murder him. Oh yeah, it's another one of those that you kind of have to earn his respect. He's like a real cat, which is so funny. Because <laughs> that's what I like about cats as well. They're not like immediately uh, trusting of you. Next one is Mavrina Arano. I hate her in her face. I am so glad that you frame her. I'm so glad as well. She's really unfriendly yeah. and uh... She's iconic trash. I don't have time to talk. Is this really mean? Am I being like really mean? Is that... <laughs> You're not mean. I'm... I think I was way worse. Next one is the Nord from Whodunit. I like him. I think he's the one of the most likable Nords. Oh yeah, yeah, you have beef with Nords. It's just that in Oblivion, generally, they're kind of mean. I think it's the... I think it's maybe whatever voice actor they have doing the Nord voices. That's the same voice actor as is for Orcs and you like Orcs. Okay, look, Orcs... And it, especially the Buzz game. Buzz Orc, it, it's the same voice actor. If you come for the Buzz Buzz Orc one more time, then we're gonna have beef. I'll, I'd put the Nord in B tier. Like, out of just, like, Nords that I can remember, he's probably the nicest. Next NPC is Nordenor. He's from Breville and he sells skooma. Oh, like I said, I, I, t I tend to avoid Breville in most of my playthroughs. If Oblivion was a house, Breville is the toilet. It's like the one closet that you don't go to, you know, that has like vacuum cleaner and a broom in the it. The corpse. Oh, yeah, the vacuum cleaner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Sorry. Excuse me? 
Uh, what, what tier would you put Nord in? <laughs> He's very unique. He's also an essential NPC for some reason. Uh, is he part of any quest line? I have no clue, but I don't think he is. So why is he essential? Because That's he's really a traitor funny. with Skuma, probably. So it's like that essential to buy Skuma. Uh, in that case, that's pretty funny. I'm just happy he sells Skuma, but I think it's like B or C, maybe C. Pretty mid. I'm glad that's done. I need a nap. The guy from Bruma that keeps sleeping. He looks a little dumb, you know, when he speaks. Two brain cells working. Is it because you know? he's an Nord? <laughs> I swear, it's not because he's an Nord. <laughs> it's just... Specifically for this character, whatever way they made it look is just um And he yawns. And he yaw yeah, yeah, yeah. He just seems like a a little bit on the brain cell deficit side of things. How much gold does he have? Fifty. Yeah, I think he's mid. Owen is funny because uh when you first get in there he like treats you like uh human trash. Probably My granny could be you and she's, she's dead. dead. He probably sees like a lot of people like you. A thing that always made me angry is that you never see other pit dogs or guys like you there. It's just really bland. But I think Owen is A. He's fun. Great quest line. Great NPC. Melus Petilius. So this is a quest line for Molag Ball. You need to make him angry so he kills you. Like the the praying animation, praying on his wife's grave. Like that, that whole like setup is so sad. The thing is that you can trigger him being aggressive while he prays at, at his wife's tombstone. That's really tragic. That's a that's a tragic character. That's sad. But you get a cool maze from it. You can show up again and then he's like, Am I being tormented forever by seeing your image? You're dead. I killed you myself. What manner of creature are you? Will I be tormented with your image forever? I would probably put him on the same level as like Adamus Philida for like that whole tragic like, backstory. Tragic backstory that like gives it that much substance. It's a quest that like makes you feel something if you feel something. <laughs> so the next NPC is an Ord. Oh God. He is at the shrine of Sheogorath. He's the one that likes to eat kids. Scrumptious darling children. I haven't eaten in so long. Oh, that's so sus. So yeah. horrible. <laughs> Um, you know how we kind of put that woman, the alchemist from Skingrad, we put her on S tier for like the shock factor? This guy is like one of those things, right? So you know how that orc from the Dark Brotherhood talks about like the six year old's birthday party oh, no. that he went to? That's the thing about the Shivering Isles as well. Everyone that you speak to has some sort of a different problem. <laughs> And you never expect what it's gonna be, and then there's just this guy that like eats children. Oh god. Have, have you noticed how there's no children? I, maybe I'm happy, they're pretty annoying. Where did they all go? I'd put him C tier. Congratulations. He's Dark Elf, and he's the vampire that pretends to be a vampire hunter. He's like, that's, he's pretending to be a vampire hunter to get closer to the targets, and then he just flees. And the funny thing is, if you wait too long, the quest fails. That's, oops, that's pretty fun, actually. Is that like one of the only timed quests in Oblivion? I think it's like one of two or three quests that are timed like this. Yeah. And I think he's pretty badass because he has leveled armor and he's a dark elf and dark elves are cool. I'd put him in B tier. The Jemain brothers. I'd put them in the same tier. You reminded me there that the, the fence from the Thieves Guild is actually involved with them as well. I'll make you replay Oblivion again. Yeah, I'm honestly like planning my next playthrough right now because I'm seeing like how much stuff I've either missed or just like done once and forgotten about. I don't think it's like the most iconic quest in Oblivion. No, I, I wouldn't put them on the same level as uh, like uh, Phalian or Magli or... Solid mid, yeah. <laughs> well, it's really funny when you mess with the Khajiits and fulfill the prophecy and they keep running around the town. C tier or above, like between C and B for sure. I right. put him at C tier. Roland Genseric. Return to me when you have slain another vampire and the order will gladly reward you. And you kill Serdor and then this guy gives you money every time you bring him vampire dust. I'll put him in B. And he has yeah. a cabin, which is based. Do you have your own cabin? Yeah, it's uh in the waterfront district. You mean uh my imperial house? Yeah, and you've got a problem with that? I'm very sensitive about people that speak about my house that way. We were really close to ending this video a few times here. <laughs> <laughs> Over a couple of things. Especially the guy. Oh, and never mind. Um, Rosentia Galenus. She's in Leowin. She bought a staff. People talk about that. They keep saying that there's like a smell or like noises coming from like Rosentia's house. Yeah, I'd put her in C. You know I like skooma. Well, I figured, yeah. <laughs> I drop hints. Here and there. I'm not sharing my skooma with anyone. He should know better. By this, I mean the whole skooma den. It's really funny coming across that for the first time, especially when they're like doing the animation of drinking it over and over. I think they were originally supposed to be part of like a bigger quest line. And it was connected, I believe, with Chaden Hall. And there was like an orc mafia trading skooma and like 
between Braville and like different cities and that. But it's unfortunate that they didn't explore it further. I'd put them in B tier because they're really fun. But it, it probably would have been higher if we if we had, had a quest more line. to go on. Yeah. But... Rufio. Rufio's kind of messed up. Who are you? What do you want? I ain't done nothing. There's something like really dark there. Like he's your first target, so he's pretty iconic, I think. And you can use him as a ghost later on. I'd say he's like yeah. B tier. <laughs> Next one is the painter, not the one from the Fighters Guild. I did a video actually exploring art in Oblivion, and this isn't said anywhere, but I think that he might be behind all of the paintings that are found all over Cyrodiil. When you go into his basement, he's got like a ton of them stacked and the quest is really unique i mean he he is kind of a dumbass that he got stuck maybe a tier maybe a tier there's, there's a lot to, more to him you know he's like renowned but he's a fraud so this is salmo the baker so this is the one that can break the game that's the one that can crash your game if you pickpocket him bread and then he eats it it's not s tier but I think I put him in A and he makes sweet rolls. Pretty, pretty based. I like that. I like that he can break the game. I, I don't know who else out of all of the other NPCs can break the game like that if you like pickpocket them something. Well, what yeah. happened to me one time was that when Martin was doing his speech in front of the blades, every time he said a certain sentence, the game broke. Joffrey. Ah! <laughs> no. Oh. You will be safe here until you can take up your yeah! friends. Joffrey. Is it? No. Joffrey. Ah, f and it kept crashing at the same spot every time. There are still people trapped in there. No! It's the guard captain from Kavach that leads the fight to retake the city. Other than that, like after Kavach, where does he go? Like, is there anything else that happens with him? No, he just stands in his castle and then he sends some allies. But I would almost say it's D tier because like they just completely dropped him off the face of the earth. They didn't rebuild Kavach. There is a mod for rebuilding Kavach, but I think that should have been done. By the developers. Uh, maybe there was like time constraints or something at that stage. It's just D tier. It's very sad. The one that sends you on fetch quests all over Cyrodiil to find a plant. I hate this, yeah. <laughs> I have never, ever in my time playing this game ever used the potion itself. It's an elixir of exploration and you have night vision and you have some effects that boost your stats for a pretty long time. I think I did it maybe once and never again. <laughs> I've done a series where I completed hated quests. In one of the videos I did all of this, it's like 120 Nurnroot. That's awful. I don't think he's trash. He means well, but it's still D tier. The next is a Khajiit, mm -hmm. and she sends you to find her jumbo potatoes. You know what? I live in Ireland, and I imagine that that would be a very respected over here. A worthy cause. Potatoes are S tier food. I like everything made from potatoes, but I don't like potatoes themselves. What about mashed potatoes? Like, you don't like that? I like them. What about baked potatoes? I don't mind them. I wouldn't make them for myself. Oh, dude, you're missing out. I, I S tier food, honestly. And is she S tier? No, but it's pretty based that she sends you on a quest to get her potatoes. She's like borderline Shivering Isles material, but not really. I'd put her in A because the quest is really iconic for Oblivion. I like that the, the title she gives you is Cat Burglar. I'd put her on the same level as Armand Kristoff. I think all of the Khajiits we put on this list are in A tier. Extra points for being Khajiit, you know what I mean? Like And minus points for being Nords. Oh my god. I said the same about orcs. Oh yeah, but you meant it. Grey Fox. Oh, uh, I really want to put him in S. Yeah, but you know what that means. I mean, we have spas, but we'll, we'll have to kick someone out. The necrophilia woman <laughs> down to A. She's iconic, but she's not like Martin Septim iconic. Everyone talks about him. He has a unique helmet. I, I think it's such a nice love story. The Night Mother. Oof. I love the lore. I think that it's uh, really creepy. I think that she had a much more iconic look in Skyrim. Now, you do get to see her head. That's Matthew Bellamont's mom's head. Hold on a minute. I, I thought it was the Night Mother's head. Wait, Google it. Now I'm confused. But yeah, you're right, because then he reacts that way. It, it is his mother's head. She's cool. I don't think she's S tier, but I would put her in A. The next one is the prophet. Oh, he's so annoying. You can hear him from like miles away. and He doesn't shut up. I hate that everybody talks about him all the time. I hate that you can't make him shut up. He won't go away. There are law masters among you. He's iconic in a way, but he has like this preachy kind of vibe. So. Not trash, but man, D, stop, shut up. It's like the guy in the middle of Whiterun that talks about Talos. Oh yeah, uh, the Heimsker. What can I do for you, Pilgrim? I'm Thurindil. Son of Julianos and Mohititona, Queen of Akavir. We have another short king. Sorry, there's a wasp in my room. 
I just want to see it settle down and sit down somewhere so that I know that it's not going to do anything to me. How is that even possible? I have not opened a window. I can't see it anymore, which makes me more... No, there it is. I, I hate this so much. I'm, I'm putting so this in the video, you. by the way. Uh-huh, <laughs> Oh god, I hate this so much. Like, it's on the ceiling, but it's also right in front of my face. It's like going where my lights are. I just don't want it to be here. I can't see it right now. It's gone. I'm just gonna pretend like it's not here. Sorry, please continue. The, the wood elf that says crazy stuff. Mother's coming for me in the dragon ships. I don't like these itchy clothes, but I have to wear them or it frightens the fish. <laughs> I, th I think I remember something like that, yeah. He's just there and the other NPCs comment on him being a nut job. He just exists and he's weird and people talk about him. That's, that's a V-tier. I don't know you and I don't care to know you. Okay, the next guy is very iconic. I don't know you and I don't care to know you. But he adds so much flavor. I, I like that Chayden Hall is so chaotic in that way. Like we talked about this earlier with the guy that's like singing. And then you've got Ulrich with his like line that he repeats literally to everyone that he meets face to face, including you. He's very lovable. He even helps you with the with the Bruma attack. And he's um Sorry, I got distracted by the wasp again. He's, <laughs> but he's also equally mean to everyone else. So it's not that he's got something against you. He just hates everyone. Yeah, and that's pretty based, honestly. I don't know if it's yeah. S tier. It's it's definitely A tier. Umbakano. He's interesting more by wanting to be an alien king at the end of the quest line. He's, he's a little unhinged, isn't he? But that's like such a like a high elf thing. I'd put him in B. Next one is Umbra. She has the best sword in the game, right? Why do I not remember Umbra being a girl? What is this? Hold on. Oh my god. I remembered Umbra as a dude. It's like a, it's like a sword and it's also the person. That's like the weirdest Mandela effect. I, I don't know. I think I'll leave the ranking up to you because I clearly don't remember this enough. A tier. From all the stuff that she gives is pretty good. I remember Umbra being a really good sword. She's really badass. Yeah. I'm definitely like revisiting Oblivion. Going through all the quests that I supposedly remember. Next on our list is also a wood elf. He's the guy that prays to the statue. Dark Brotherhood listener. He is what you are in Skyrim. That's a pretty big deal. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool actually. It is cool. I'd put him in A tier. Welvin Benarus. He has the manor that's uh cursed the house is for five thousand gold it's a pretty good deal when you fix it up all the furniture is already there you don't have to buy anything else uh, the anvil house is probably like s tier i'd lift a curse yeah man i mean in this economy <laughs> I'd, I'd fight some ghosts you know whatever i'd put him in uh a tier as well i love the creepy quests in oblivion speaking of creepy vincent faltieri very nicely dressed he's got the drip and you know if you don't know what vampirism is in oblivion you'll say yes because it sounds so cool hell yeah i want it then you die by walking outside which is N not so cool and then you start getting the dreams that that's like the best part of being a vampire i think like that's where it kind of ends for me i kind of felt bad about killing him when and when had... they scream why brother why i feel kind of bad i mean they are all murderers too he is a tier just as we ranked ochiva it kind of makes sense okay the next npc is a dead one and he dies by drowning Weak beta, is that what we're gonna say? <laughs> beta. Dude, just take the ring off, it's not that hard. Don't drown, lol. Learn to swim. Use feather. You, you shouldn't be in the Mage's Guild if this is- Like, if you can't solve this little <laughs> issue. Like, if a guy can't get himself out of a situation like that, should he really be in the Mage's Guild? Should he? I think he's trash. That's so mean. <laughs> Literally put a dead guy. <laughs> I, I think people will agree with this. Huh. What? Dreadwin. You notice her straight away when you go into that tavern because she's like hunched over and she's got like her arms hanging down and she's got like the dark circles under her eyes. Like a really fun introduction to the Shivering Isles, I think. Honestly, I'd put her like maybe A or B. <laughs> Just... I don't know if A, but I I'd put her at B. The next NPC is an orc. Ooh. He holds one of the best swords in the game. Like very vaguely remember that as well, to be honest with you. That's like one orc that I that I cannot speak to. This is one of the orcs I'd give a, 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 a higher tier. Like he thinks he died without a fight and it messes up his head. I can safely say he's definitely not as cool as the buzz 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 orc, so. I'd give him an A. How wonderful for me. He has great sarcasm. I like that he looks like he hates you, but he can't say that to you and then eventually he does have to call you my lord. It's like cats, he has to get used to you. It's so funny that you can summon him. Yes, yes. <laughs> is there anything you require? You require? When you summon him and there's combat around, he just runs away and screams like a Breton. I put him A tier. Come over here. Here is Clotumnus. I need you to kill me. You have to do it when he's like not expecting it. And if he sees you coming, he starts panicking. No, not like this. He gives you a ring of happiness as a reward. He could have used that. I think that's yeah. really, really memorable. I, I'd put him at A. Shea Gorath is too 
too important to come. Next one is a dark elf. A gatekeeper's mom. She's like a boy mom, you know, she's like proper. Tortures people and then brings them back to life. She is messed up, but she's really fun. Most memorable, Most I memorable. think. Just like mm -hmm. Haskell, probably. A tier for sure. Our next NPC is an Argonian from the Shivering Isles, and she runs in circles. Nee, 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 nee. I mean, she's not like super significant or anything. The funny thing is that she asks for apples, and you can give her a poisoned apple and she can die. <laughs> That's so sad. Probably B tier. Jeez for everyone. I I it's it's some some Daedric prince, some guy. Yeah, I don't really know a whole lot about this one. No. 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 Probably probably D tier. Yeah, yeah probably probably <laughs> yeah. probably we're gonna have to kick out Falanu Lalu. Yeah, I'm I'm not mad about that honestly. I don't even know why we put her as to begin with. She, because she's a necrophilic and uh, ne never mind, she's A tier. <laughs> I put A tier. You don't have any experience building boats, do you? Tove the unrestful. I, I think it's pretty funny that he just gives up on his like big idea with. It's the... really relatable. Dropping a project like that for something else, yeah. I think it's B tier, honestly. So now we have a hundred NPCs, by the way, and I've wow. added one more. I recognize. <sighs> I sort of recognize the armor. Oh, hold on a minute. Is this the guy that has Todd Howard's voice? Yes. If you rename him yes. as Todd Howard, he has unique Todd Howard voice lines based on his mood. What? what? That, that really, really pisses, pisses me, me off. off. <laughs> hey, Jared. That's a bonus one. That's, so we have 101. That is a lot. You, as a guest in this video, can choose one NPC and you can switch him to a different tier of your choosing. <laughs> you have to pick an NPC. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Okay, we have 10 in S tier, and you'd have to switch one from the S tier. P please, I, please, please. I've been given this power. I don't, you know what the funniest thing is? I don't even remember like exactly what his name is, but I know he's, what he says. And uh, that's enough for me. Dolphish grow Orum. You'd but... swap him with the guy from the Fighters Guild. That or the adoring fan. <laughs> What's happening right now? Yeah, um, probably move the Dark Elf from the fighter's guild and I'll put the orc there. Put this on myself. <laughs> I feel like I've won. This is a really, this is gonna be a really good video. The orc that does buzz buzz is better <laughs> than Joffrey. Okay. I said this before, we're gonna nominate an NPC for the most punchable face. So on the trash tier, the second one, I can't remember what his name is. What is up with those eyebrows? I mean, like if I could recreate this in the character creator. You just have to put all of the sliders up and all of the colors to black. This guy's eyebrow game is unmatched. He has 2016 eyebrows. Oh no, oh no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the video. That's how it yeah, looks. Yeah, yeah. Some say that Traven is misusing the power. Stop talking. We'll see how the audience will uh, trash you or me for putting certain NPCs in certain well, tiers. Well, I'm just going to say it. I said what I said. I said what I said as well. Well, there you go. Upload the video, but not read the comments. No, no, I'm not going <laughs> to read the comments. I never read the comments. Do you agree or disagree with our list? Did we forget someone? Let us know in the comments. Bye. Bye.